Foreign Cinema Time to explore San Francisco's favorite dinner and a movie, Foreign Cinema. Located in the core of downtown at 2534 Mission Street, this Californian Mediterranean restaurant is widely known and loved for its outdoor dining space and movie screenings. For over 20 years, San Franciscans have enjoyed a wide variety of international specialties, along with vintage and quirky flicks in a group atmosphere. Local newspaper the San Francisco Bay Times describes its al fresco dining as a combination of good food and an enlivening artistic endeavor just makes for a great date night. How do people rate it? Even in a competitive region full of millennial foodies with high expectations, locals agree that it's one of the best. Foreign Cinema has a score of 4 stars on Yelp.com and 4.5 and stars on Google with thousands of reviews. They offer both dine-in and curbside pickup options. How do the experts rate it? Foreign Cinema's globally inspired cuisine is also well received by the top restaurateurs and international critics. San Francisco Magazine describes this as an iconic restaurant and arts enclave, and Forbes noted that it is one of the most unique dining experiences available, one that brings together the best of both film and culinary worlds. Other notable publications have called it essential to the arts and foodie culture of the region. Their brunch especially is mentioned as exceptional by Time Out Travel Guides. What kind of food do they serve? The unique blend of tastes complements the even more diverse selection of vintage and quirky movie flicks that they serve along as a side. Restaurant owner Gail Perry told Smithsonian Magazine that geography plays a lot in the food we prepare, which is why we look to countries like Italy, France, Spain, Greece, etc. to satisfy our customers who want to taste the flavors that make these regions special. Recent reviewers especially enjoyed entree options such as duck breast and ahi tuna poke. A midday Sunday brunch brings delicious sweets such as French toast or their custom Maui pineapple pop tart. What are they best known for? It's difficult to pick out the best of their three course offerings, but to start, guests enjoy their twist on the classic Caesar salad, winter chicories and endive, lime, anchovy, tortilla chips, and manchego. Ocean-inspired entrees are a special indulgence at Foreign Cinema. This is the place to try the ahi tuna poke, Sarnaculi estate caviar, and Hog Island Sweets oysters from Point Reyes, California. Plancha, a combination of Monterey Bay calamari, sea scallops, Oaxcan mole rojo, beans, majorum aioli, and tortilla chips is an essentially Californian brunch platter. Duck is another customer favorite, including peppercorn seasoned breast spiced caviar lentils, slivered fennel and frise, toasted almonds, orange sections all smothered in a sweet caramel orange sauce. What else is popular there? If you're looking for more traditional and well-known choices for dinner, you will not be disappointed in the hearty and comforting pork chop. Their version includes a grilled double-cut heritage pork chop, soft greens polenta, grilled kale, pecorino salsa, and grilled red onions. The grilled coffee rubbed vet steak is another option guaranteed to please almost any diner. Any remaining appetite at the end of the meal can be satisfied by dessert options such as the caramel pecan sticky bread. What is the rest of the menu like? Fully embracing the farm-to-table menu style and paying honor to California's natural specialty tastes and seasonalities, Foreign Cinema's menu changes routinely based on ingredient availability. Evolving menus allow for a broad range of changing tastes. There are almost always enough seafood options and other entrees topped with grilled and seasoned local vegetables with internationally derived sauces and creams. What about drinks? Recently, Foreign Cinema appeared in the magazine The World of Fine Wine and was awarded for its three-star wine lists. Guests can enjoy a menu that includes both bottle and by-the-glass beverage options of California and European selections. Full bar service and specialty cocktails are also available, including the Colleen, a popularly refreshing yet strong taste. Do they have any vegetarian options? By focusing on seafood and vegetable complements, customers who prefer vegetarian selections will not be disappointed. Soups and salads help to make the meal complete. We hope this video helps you find a great restaurant in San Francisco. If the information helped you, please like the video by clicking on the thumbs up button below and subscribe to hear about other restaurants in the San Francisco area. Our videos are written and curated by people who care about good food just as much as you do. If you want us to review a particular restaurant, let us know in the comments below. What is the ambience like? 
Dining in a heated outdoor patio space may not be difficult to find in San Francisco, but one paired with a large video screen and projector system is most definitely unique. The charming atmosphere and group movie viewings also make it a highly sought after private event space. There are several distinctive styles available, including a smaller, more intimate indoor galleries as well as a larger entertainment hall. Nice weather makes this sunny mission-style patio particularly enjoyable. These features combine to help foreign cinema rank near the top of event publications top 25 San Francisco venues in 2020. How much does it cost? Starting with an appetizer will cost anywhere from $12 to $23, while entrees range in price from $28 and up, depending on selection. As to be expected from a seafood-focused menu, price can vary greatly based on your choices with oysters starting at $4.50 and a full made lobster going for as much as $80. When is the restaurant open? These dinner options are available on Tuesday through Saturday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Weekend brunch occurs both Saturday 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and Sunday 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Who is the chef? All main menu and brunch selections are the collective work of chefs Gail Perry and John Clark. After browsing the truly global reach of the menu, it'll come as no surprise that this duo has traveled and worked in many different countries to develop their innovative culinary masterpieces. This work has also led to the publication of two cookbooks, which are conveniently available for purchase on site. Their combinations and leadership have gained the attention of California State Senator Mark Lino, who presented a city proclamation to the restaurant in acknowledgement of their contributions to the community foodie scene. What are some other things that people mention about the restaurant? In general, people love dining here and claim it is a must-visit restaurant in San Francisco. Some notable opinions from diners include the benefit of a movie screening as a great way to avoid those inevitable awkward lapses in conversation on romantic dates or even business dinners. Films shown on the screen are incomprehensibly diverse, such as Marilyn Monroe's Gentlemen Prefer Blondes or All That Jazz from Bob Foss. An evening at foreign cinema is frequently described as magical, and it continues to be a top destination as one of the city's perennial dining favorites. Some things to consider before your visit. In accordance with CDC guidelines and local restrictions, foreign cinema is adhering to many COVID-19 related additional safety and health precautions. The city's Safer Return Together Health Order mandates guests age 12 and older dining indoors to provide proof of vaccination and wear a mask. In order to meet this requirement, diners may prove vaccination status with one of three options, a digital vaccination pass, physical vaccination card, or a picture of the physical vaccination card. All employees are currently fully masked. As a highly sought after venue, it's also important to check the restaurant's main website for closures due to private events. What did people say who didn't like the restaurant? No restaurant can satisfy every budget and appetite, and foreign cinema has fallen victim to the same fate. Some reviewers are unimpressed by the menu options or consider it slightly overpriced, but still consider it a must-try due to the absolutely fantastic ambience as an experience-based dining option. The long waitlist and reservation-only weekends can also be frustrating to wannabe customers. What are some alternative restaurants to try? If foreign cinema's popularity and waitlist make it impossible for a last-minute date night, but you're still looking for an experience alongside your entree, the nearby El Masur belly dancing restaurant could be a memorable experience as well. Luca Delicatessen offers another Bay Area dining experience that promises to intrigue. Although a very focused and narrow menu in comparison to foreign cinema, hanging salami and shelves full of giant wheels of cheese have satisfied fans of Italian-American flavors for over 90 years. Have you been? After a visit to foreign cinema, let us know if the experience and menu are as unforgettable as others say. Did the revolving menu offer any specialties that make you want to go back? Let us know in the comments below.